Hi Aquarius, welcome to your December monthly general tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, so looking at all energies, whatever you need to know, messages you need to hear for December. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse it anytime you need to. Cross watchers as well. And everything you need to know, Aquarius, is down below in the description box. So you can check that out if you would like to. Your playlist is down there. And the list of readings I do here. My other channel. And uh, the, um, your playlist over there as well. So welcome in Aquarius. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, Aquarius. Unfinished Symphony. Boy, this card's been coming out a lot. So we have 10, which can be about completions and new beginnings. So something you feel like it's the same thing over and over, over and over and over, never coming to an end. Or why am I saying that? Unfinished, something not done. <laughs> I just had, I'm thinking of the other card, which is a uh, never ending story. This is unfinished sympathy, sympathy. Oh my God. Symphony. You're on my last reading. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. So something is not done or completed for you or a situation. Loyal heart. We have 35, which is eight infinity kind of soulmate energy here. Um, action, travel, communication. Hmm. To be fair, which is like justice, 38, 11, life path, soul path energy. Could be dealing with the Libra. And no place like home, 50, which is five, which is change. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. Joking on myself here. Um, what I feel like, Aquarius, is some of you may have been contemplating divorce or something. And then realizing, wow, you know, I, you know, really, it's not over between us. And then do have an energy of like, there's no place like home, like coming back home. Someone's loyal heart is coming back home. So if we thought something was ending, some of you may actually maybe going through a divorce or something and maybe moving back home where your true family and friends are. Um... So you may be in the process of that now and you're feeling like oh, it's never going to complete. But we're going to clarify each card here and see why they're here. Plus a little extra information. And then we'll get even more advice with the Archangels. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what we need to know for Aquarius. So let's see what the Unfinished Symphony. Get any information about that. For Aquarius. So what is this Unfinished Symphony? For Aquarius. Right. Page of Wands. So some kind of good news coming in or somebody communicating some uh, information or news here. It's very exciting. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, though. Three of Wands in reverse. Judgment in reverse. And the Empress in reverse. Oh my goodness. Look at all the reversals here. All right, I do have reversals in the deck and sometimes I forget to go through and I kind of separate them or turn some upright if there's too many. But um, let's see, we have Libra, Taurus, Scorpio. I'm almost feeling like um, Aquarius, you decided you're not, you weren't putting in work into anything anymore because you didn't see a future here. So maybe that was a bad decision or somebody made a poor decision. But not, it could be not feeling yourself here um, with this Empress in reverse. But we do have Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, and uh, Sag, High Priestess. So it could be in, in like separation, no communication, but it's also about intuition. Queen of Swords, the Sun. There could have been a lot of harsh things that have happened or was said. It's not a good energy with the Queen of Swords in reverse. But the Sun is massive healing, growth, expansion, really positive energy with the Sun. I feel like there was a lack of clarity here with the Ace of Swords as well, or a lack of communication. So we do have Leo. Um, this Queen of Swords could be you. For me, it's Libra. It could be you, Aquarius, Pisces. 
So I feel like here with this unfinished symphony, somebody could be communicating to you where you decide I'm not working on this no more. I'm not putting any more effort. I don't see a future. Um, maybe at the time you were feeling like it wasn't the best decision, but you did it anyway. And maybe, you know, you were feeling kind of not good about that, maybe. Or it could be somebody else. Because definitely, clearly, something is not done here with this unfinished symphony. So I don't know if it's about a love situation, maybe uh, a distant family member, or someone you've grown distant from, a friend. All right, let's see. But let's see what this loyal heart is for Aquarius. King of Wands. Three of Pentacles. The Magician in Reverse, which that can sometimes not be a great energy. Queen of Swords in Reverse. And the High Priestess Upright. I felt like you had a lot, a very loyal heart here, um, Aquarius, but we do have the Queen of Swords in Reverse, so I don't know if that's you or if somebody... Um, I feel like you you were very loyal to somebody here, you know, and maybe you stopped communication because King of Wands, it could have been, you know, very fiery, passionate, um, make, maybe making promises of growing and expanding, but really it was just just kind of like a manipulative minute, minute kind of energy. Not good energy of Queen of Swords in reverse. So you could have actually, you know, stopped communication here with the High Priestess as well because... As loyal as you were, this person didn't really have as a loyal heart as you. Justice. Seven of Cups. A lot of confusion. And again, justice right here to be fair. This could be divorce, separation, legal matters. There's a lot of confusion surrounding that. But having to set healthy boundaries and stand up for yourself. Four of Cups. You've made a decision. You're no longer going to stay stagnant with this energy. Definitely, you don't want to live a stressful life either. So something's coming to an end, and it could be a soulmate partnership, or you know maybe a friend or a family member where all it does is cause you stress, anxiety, negativity, and it's like you're done. So whatever this is, you're making a decision here to you know do the moral just right thing for yourself. Truth, clarity, justice, getting what you deserve, universal law and order. So I think you had a very loyal heart, but some around you maybe didn't have so much of a loyal heart. That's kind of what I feel. <sighs> Let's see, we had uh, Pisces, Libra, Scorpio, and then I did see um, Leo there, Gemini, Virgo, that could be Aquarius, uh, Queen of Swords is Libra, or it could be you, Aquarius, so, and Pisces. So let's see what this To Be Fair is about. To Be Fair. So, I mean, my first impression of the cards was, you know, maybe someone's coming back home, no place like home, but I don't know, maybe you're returning back home because you're finally freeing yourself from something that you're tired of being stuck in. All right, so let's see. To Be Fair, that's justice for me. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. Queen of Cups. King of Swords. That could be you again, Aquarius. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So you're tired of the stalemate here. Standing your ground here with the King of Swords. It don't matter. Following your heart, your intuition. Six of Swords. That could be, you know, Page of Pentacles is not stable, grounded energy or offers or information. If something is coming back to you, um, it's not a stable, grounded energy. So I think you're really going to need to like stand your ground here with this uh, King of Swords. Follow your heart and your intuition. Um, don't get stuck in a stalemate. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You know that's upright. It's like stalemate energy. In reverse, it's like no more stalemate. So don't get stuck in a stalemate energy again here. Um, so to be fair, definitely here, um, it's about being fair to yourself and doing the right thing. And don't get stuck. So let's see, we have, uh, let's see, we have Capricorn, Cancer, Gemini, or this could be you, Aquarius. That's right, yeah. You're going to need to be strong, courageous, and brave for this. Standing your ground. 
about walking away definitely in setting healthy boundaries and fighting for yourself definitely here so we have leo showing up wow wow so you definitely could have felt like this is a very unfair situation it's about standing your ground and you all you want is fairness so let's see what no place like home is about for aquarius sorry it's not more positive but you know not every reading can be positive a place like home so if you're going to return back home maybe you've got better things coming for you what's this no place like home page of swords six of cups hmm. in reverse though eight of swords in reverse which is coming out of a stuck energy eight of wands in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse oh my gosh look at all these reversals so oh you have a lot of reversals here so i'm feeling like don't revert to this past energy because six of cups can be about never going back to the past no matter a page of swords in reverse is not good energy so they may feed you lies and crap no going back to the past but getting yourself unstuck that is for sure but eight of wands in reverse can be about not taking action ten of wands is like a resistance to ending something as well somebody may be resistant about ending this as well and i think maybe you do want to go back home six of cups upright can be you know a lot of people can say it's not about that but that's kind of what i get with that card sometimes especially if it's upright it could be about returning back to childhood dream returning back home it can be about someone from the past coming back or this can be in reverse no going back to the past but maybe some of you are longing for home and going back home but staying stuck in this situation prevents you from doing that so it's definitely about um, going where your heart and your home is definitely here. Ace of Pentacles, solid new beginnings here. Five of Swords coming out of conflict. King of Cups can be very, very over-emotional time, so be careful of that. Somebody could be coming in as over-emotional, but you're going to have to be strong here. King of Pentacles. Some of you may, you know, that could be a parental figure, maybe returning back home maybe temporary till you can afford maybe your own space or place or something to that effect as well eight of cups definitely walking away so i definitely see you walking away from something having to stand your ground fighting for something some of you could be uh maybe returning home to start a new job a business uh, something like that as well aquarius but whatever this is in the past that you felt like was never going to end for you um, it's it's time to put like the finishing uh, like the finishing um, I don't know notes on this symphony to complete it if that makes sense All right so let's see what else we need to know here for Aquarius four of pentacles you have been holding back for far too long protecting yourself seven of swords and maybe avoiding and protecting holding back there's justice right there to be fair doing the moral and just right thing getting your day getting your justice things going in your favor finally temperance so things balancing out for you peace harmony joy love and light better things coming healing the fool don't do anything foolish <laughs> aquarius that's your card don't do anything foolish because that can be in reverse like a foolish energy um your energetic restart is coming so you're just going to have to um play it out by the book justice doing the moral and just right thing and don't do anything foolish whatever that means for you two of swords decisions will be made five of pentacles coming out of lack of any kind ace of swords so in reverse though nine of wands so the struggle is almost over the clarity you need will be coming the struggle has to be contended with and finally put to rest and then you have peace harmony joy love and light and a happy outcome with the ten of cups so single free independent making your money not having to worry and making all the right choices so what make sure you're weighing out the pros and cons before you make decisions as well aquarius the sun happiest card in the deck growth expansion enlightenment healing happiness joy success victory leo energy so we have leo uh let's see yep okay sag aquarius libra all right aquarius let's see 
what else the angels want to tell you. Again, everything you need to know is down below Aquarius, your playlist, list of readings I do here, my other channel, and your playlist there as well. All right, for Aquarius, what else do we need to know for Aquarius? Brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So this is something that you've been contemplating for far too long, and it's like, yeah, it's time to take action. Look, taking action. Clear your space. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use Feng Shui. So that could be a message for some that it's definitely time to clear this up. Outdoors, go outside, get some fresh air, connect with nature to relieve stress and gain a new creative ideas. Some of you may live in the city, be, maybe moving back out to the country. That may feel like home to you. Healthy lifestyle. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. So this definitely is yeah, spreading your wings and taking action. And definitely healthier, healthier energy for you all the way around the board by finally doing this. Right, Aquarius, um, everything's below. I'm wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.